Now, 99% of what passes for rock and roll these days, silence is more compelling. Here's a theory uh, for you to disregard <laughs> completely. Uh, music, you know, true music, uh, not just rock and roll, it chooses you. You know, it lives in your car or, or alone, listening to your headphones uh, with the vast scenic bridges and angelic choirs in your brain. You know, it's a place apart from the vast, benign lap of America. Did you know that the letter by the box tops was a minute and 58 seconds long? It means nothing, nil. But it takes them less than two minutes to accomplish what Jethro Tull takes hours to not accomplish. You see, this, this is fatuous, pseudo blubber. You know, I mean, which is fine, but voice it off as art, you know, or the doors, or Jim Morrison. He's a drunken buffoon, posing as a poet. I like the doors. Ah, uh, give me the guess who. Come on, they got the courage to be drunken buffoons, which makes them poetic. It's quite an honor to have the world's greatest rock critic yes. and editor of Cream Magazine no. back home in San Diego for a few days, Lester Bangs. Live American woman. Have you ever, the most brilliant piece of gobbledygook ever. Uh, give me some white light, white heat. Iggy Pop! Amen! Oh, I just put this on. This isn't on your playlist Lester, either. I think it's a little bit early for that. Not for me. Okay, well, that was Lester Bangs. This is Alice Wisdom, and here's Iggy Pop. So you're the kid who's been sending me those articles from the school newspaper. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing some stuff for a local underground paper also. Hey, what do you like, the star of your school? They hate me. Yeah. Well, you'll meet them all again on their long journey to the middle. You know, your writing is uh, damn good. It's just a shame you missed out on rock and roll. It's over. Over? It's over. I mean, you got here just in time for the death rattle. Last gasp. Last grope. At least I'm here for that. Yeah, what do you type on? Smith Corona Galaxis Deluxe. And hey, you like Lou Reed? The early stuff. In his new stuff, he's trying to be Bowie. He should just be himself. Yeah, but if Bowie's doing Lou, and if Lou's doing Bowie, Lou's still doing Lou. If you like Lou. Take drugs? No. Smart kid. I used to do speed. You know, and sometimes a little cough syrup. I'll stay up all night just writing and writing, I mean like 25 pages, a dribble, you know, about the faces of Coltrane, you know, just to fucking write. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, it's been nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep sending me your stuff. Sorry, I just can't stand here all day talking to my many fans. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> you know, because once you go to LA, you're gonna have friends like crazy, but they're gonna be fake friends. You know, they're gonna try to corrupt you. You know, and you got an honest face, and they're gonna tell you everything. But you cannot make friends with the rock stars. Okay, okay. If you're gonna be a true journalist, you know, a rock journalist, <laughs> first you never get paid much. But you will get free records from the record company. Fucking nothing about you that is controversial, man. God, it's gonna get ugly, man. They're gonna buy you drinks. You're gonna meet girls. They're gonna try to fly you places for free, offer you drugs, and I know it sounds great. But these people are not your friends. You know, these are people who want you to write sanctimonious stories about the genius of rock stars, and they will ruin rock and roll and strangle everything we love about it. You know, because they're trying to buy respectability for a form that is gloriously and righteously dumb. You know, and you're smart enough to know that. And the day it ceases to be dumb is the day it ceases to be real, right? And then right. it just becomes an industry of cool. I, I mean, I'm telling you, you're coming along at a very dangerous time for rock and roll. I mean, the war is over. They won. 
And that's why I think you should just turn around, go back, you know, and be a lawyer or something. I can tell from your face that you won't. I can give you 35 bucks. Give me a thousand words on Black Sabbath. An assignment? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. You have to make your reputation on being honest and uh, you know, unmerciful. Honest. Unmerciful. Yeah, if you get into a jam, you can call me. I stay up late. Still water? Beware, beware a Rolling Stone magazine, because they will change your story, they'll rewrite it, you know, turn it into swill. But besides that, what would be wrong with it? <laughs> You got starry eyes, my friend. Uh, look, uh, you know, do the story. Who cares? You know, it'll be good for you. Remember this. Uh, don't do it. To make friends with people who are trying to use you to uh, further the big business desire to glorify worthless rock stars like Stillwater. You know, don't let those swill merchants rewrite you. Swill merchants, that's good. Yes, yeah, swill merchants. <laughs> now, what are you listening to? Still water. Still water. And kids doing drugs. Lester, Rolling Stone is calling me. I don't have my key interview. Uh, right. I don't know what to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, Days are just going by out here. You're flipping out. It's good. All right. Uh, hey, this is how you blow their minds. Uh, he's going to ask you. Well, this is Ben Funk Tories, right? Yeah, yeah. And he's gonna ask you how the story's going, and this is what you do. Tell him, you know, it's a, it's a think piece. Think piece. <laughs> About a mid-level band uh, struggling with their own limitations in the, uh, you know, uh, the harsh face of stardom. Harsh. <laughs> hey. uh, he'll wet himself. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're coming along at a very dangerous time for rock and roll. The war is over, they won. They will ruin rock and roll and strangle everything we love about it. I listen to the wind, to the wind of my soul. You made friends with them. See, friendship is the booze they feed you. Because they want you to get drunk and feel like you belong. Well, it was fun. Because they make you feel cool. And hey, I met you. You are not cool. I know. Even when I thought I was, I knew I wasn't. Right, because we are uncool. Now, while women will always be a problem for guys like us, most of the great art in the world is about that very problem. Hey, good looking people, they got no spine. Their art never lasts. Now they get the girls, but we're smarter. Yeah, I can really see that now. Yeah, because great art is about you know, guilt and longing and, you know, love disguises sex and sex disguises love. Yeah, hey, let's face it. <laughs> yeah, you got a big head start. I'm glad you were home. I'm always home. I'm uncool. Me too. You're doing great. You know? The only true currency in this bankrupt world is what you share with someone else when you're uncool. Is that my advice to you? And I know you think these guys are your friends. If you want to be a true friend to them, be honest and unmerciful. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye. 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 You need a ride? No, man, I took the bus. <laughs>